How do you approach differently for the kids and the young athletes that are coming here? And first, maybe Andy can say his approach and then Nick. Well, my approach to kids are just uh, with a warm heart. It's, it, 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 it seems like I'm trying to say, uh, but you know, the kids need an, another approach and another treatment than the adults do. Um, but still, then again, I'm trying to approach them with some uh, humor and funny things, you know, to get them. Not, when, the, when the people are stressed, like, like oh, we have to, like, this, maybe the, the, there's just a, a little opening in their brain. You know, if you make it funny and relaxing, you know, and you speak a lot and try to let them understand what you're trying to say, that's, I think, it's a better or bigger value than just being really harsh and, hey, you have to go left or right, and that's it. You know, it's another communistic uh, way, you know, just an uh, easygoing way, open-minded, you know, so then uh, there's such a more freedom then, free-minded. And you're speaking about fun, and I can't think if anybody else can uh, stay or something in that matter. So, yeah. Nick, do you, do you agree with uh, his approach with the young athletes here? Well, I mean, clearly, there's a reason why you're interviewing us together. I mean, he has his character, and I'm completely the opposite. I'm very militant, I'm very stern and very strong, you know, good cop, real cop, I mean, bad cop. Bad cop. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, I think, you know, it works very well. You know, I'm like a, like a machine that puts in the data and then you move one way or the highway. So uh, that's how we work together very well. Yeah, I saw that actually. I see this so earlier you fought one little child uh, to, the, to the ground, but, uh, oh, uh, we are speaking on live TV. Sorry about that. <laughs> he tripped, he tripped and, and, and I happened to fall on top of him with my elbow. I mean, it's, I didn't mean to do it on purpose, but. WWE. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, it did happen. <laughs> and today's focus, what are you going to focus on today, today's training? On this training now? We just made an agreement that we're going to do some sparring, some little, uh, little uh, uh, scouting. You know, we want to see them fighting with some several assignments to see what they're capable of. You know, if the quality is there in their brain, it's not only going forward. Of course, that should be a way of fighting, but there are more several ways. And, uh, you know, what, what you have over here, standing as, as coaches, as senses, as shians, as trainers, uh, we have so many, many experience. If we can share that to them, I think that's the, the main, main goal or the main common thing we all can, can do, is sharing and trying uh, to get them better. And Nick, is this something that you, you're trying to find someone to fight on the next uh, big event in the summer, I think? There would be a huge event in Kyokushin and uh, kickboxing? Honestly, we are coming out with some huge announcements uh, at one point, uh, not this year, probably more for next year. But yes, we're always scouting for new fighters, but there will be a time when everyone will be ready to properly have a trials to actually get a footstep into uh, Shenshi Fighting Gala. Today's training, what is more specific? Здравейте, правим впечатление, че днес тренировка е много полезна с това, защото обясняват основни работи, които дори и професионалисти има какво да усъвършенства. Тоест би била полезна дори за професионалисти. А днес какво по-интересно забелязвате при гостите, които са дошли при по-скоро трениращите, които са дошли? Виждали се, аз лично забелязвам повече момичета. Това прави впечатление. Ами, не ми прави такова впечатление на участниците. Забелязвам, че просто всички участници са доста концентрирани в упражнението, когато ги правят, което е явно има доста добра мотивация. Това се явява последен лагер преди големия летен лагер на Камче, където ще има и голям турнир. Вие да подготвите доста ваши състезатели, да очакваме ли да се появят някои от вашите момчета и момичета на турнира, който предстои лятото? За нашите състезатели сега ще се още има рано. Ние ще се подготвим за световната купа, която ще бъде на Кьокшин. То ще има и световна купа Кьокшин, световна купа аматьорска на Сенши. Какво може да кажете за днес въркаут? Yeah, basically, what I try to do is uh, the things I did before, I look uh, if the participants still remember. Of course, there will be new participants who haven't done it yet. And then I try to build on on the things I did before. That is what I, what I like to do. And it's not always working. Sometimes I have to start all over again. Uh, but that's okay, because I better do it hundred times extra and then they understand then I do it only one time and they don't understand so that is for me that is very important that um, that they understand why I do something and and how I do it 
And actually, we see a lot of new faces today, especially a lot of new girls. Uh, does this something interesting? Can you tell us something more about that? Yeah, about the girls? Maybe they are just pretty boys or something. No, no, no. That's a joke. Um, no, I, I, I'm very happy to see that. And uh, I'm not sure if everybody comes from Bulgaria. But um, it's very good to see uh, a lot of women also in doing the fight sport. Uh, I think that's that's very important for the sport too. And uh, today, especially on this workout, what what are you focusing on? What I focus on is this. This now it is a little bit different because we are with five trainers. Um, but what I always basically focus on is uh, being able to make good defense and good counter. I mean, for me, a fight starts with good defense. If your defense is not good then you have problem in the fight and so for for me the defense is most important it starts with the defense and then we take it out we take it from there and that basically is like a counter and uh, and make a nice uh, attack well what can you tell us about the gathering here today yeah we uh this the second camp of the day uh, i think it's very busy uh, i see uh, uh, many new faces who uh, I didn't see saw before, but uh, you see it's growing and growing every time uh, with uh, a lot of new, young, uh, good fighters. Uh, so I think it's a uh, good adventure for uh, the Senshi. I see a lot of girls uh, behind your back there coming to train, I think for the first time since I'm coming here. What can you uh, tell me about uh, that? Is it something that uh, girls are more, uh, do they want to train more uh, combat sports in recent times? Yeah, I think you see now times uh, the girls are uh, even on the events and the fights uh, are a lot uh, more in upcoming. So uh, you see uh, many more girls now come in, uh, in the fighting sport. I think before it was uh, the girls thought it was only for the men, but you see them uh, develop and uh, they, see getting, they see coming with more and more. And what is the focus today? What are you the working on today with the group? Um, yeah, we are... Today we are with more people then, so uh, we have own, our own our own vision, I think. Uh, uh, what what I did in the morning was uh, hand, hand, leg uh, combination. Uh, normally we are used to the Dutch kickboxing is always finished with a low kick and I did some things with after low kick the hands again, so to surprise the opponent, but yeah, there are so many things you can, can do and then you come, become dame, days and uh, camps uh, too short for, to do everything. Last time I came, it was in last year. So I had, a, I didn't hold a kick, kickboxing training. And uh, for me, it's a new experience in, here in Senshi. I already hold, uh, held in other places kickboxing training. Uh, people, I, my impression is people is getting more and more motivated with the training, uh, it's getting popular. My impression is that the Senshi camp is getting popular, so people feel more excited to come. So I think this is, this is the difference I see from the previous uh, when I came here before. I want people just adjust the, their training with small things. We don't need to, we are here from uh, we, we are bringing our experiences in martial arts, karate, kickboxing, MMA, and it's not possible to uh, change the whole training of the participants because they have their base already, they have their teachers already. So we bring some improvements. They can put just a, a small thing in their training and the training will be more effective. So that's my goal. That's I want it. I want them to pick up a little things and improve. Have a good result in their training. The fighter's most important quality, I think, maybe a strong spirit, because it's a, it's the base for everything else you do. Uh, it's the base for wake up early and train. It's the base for uh, training, uh, even if we are injured even if you are sick, even if you are tired. So if you have a strong spirit, your body will be strong too. I think there are a lot of more youngsters uh, in this camp. So uh, 
this is something what I really like. Uh, a lot of uh, the people from the karate style is uh, is there, and uh, th that's the main uh, the main difference. Now, because they are uh, because these are the young youngsters, they they did not find their way right. So now we can I think we can adjust more to them. So I think this is a really good uh, thing that you know we train some younger people because they are uh, more open-minded. So uh, I really like this. Yeah, what's a fighter's most important quality? Willpower, uh, perseverance. So they start something, you have to finish something. I think in this time, it's very difficult to, to finish something. Everybody's starting with everything. If you see the TikTok, if you see the social media, it's all short movies and they have to learn. It's not, life is not like this, you know? You have to persevere to, to, to achieve what you want. Nothing comes easily. So uh, this is what I... Uh, this is what I have to learn. Uh, this, this needs to be a quality. The Senshi is always, they, they came here, it's uh, look uh, different. Right? Different uh, students, different fighters. And uh, I'm very happy to be here again because uh, we just to come to, to show our techniques and the teaching, but every time I learn with the, the fighters. I think a uh, Senshi is not just a fight, but it's a... Uh, a spirit of martial arts, and then uh, it's uh, very important that people learn, like about uh, mixed martial arts, or martial arts, and, uh, and, uh, and the, the true spirit of the martial arts. The, the fight is uh, here; it's very high because you have uh, many, 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 many guys that practice. It. But uh, like I said before, the spirit is more important than the good fights. Right? Uh, each time uh, participate more stronger, more technically, and every time we do more stronger and more technically, um, more technically camps. In uh, this uh, training session, we focus more technical and uh, tactical combat aspects. Uh, for fighters, my opinion, this is uh, psychology and, uh, of course, discipline. I see many people, many new people, actually, many new guys. Like, uh, for karate fighters, kickboxing fighters, like, there are many people who didn't come to the last camp. So I see that people are interesting and the new people is more coming. That is a really good thing for the, our organization. So people tra mainly training in the new techniques, but not only. Their attitude is really important. So legend fighter is coming, and they are teaching their, with their experience, fight experience. And people start learning about it, not just like a, as a normal gym lesson, but the legends technique they are taking. So when they repeat uh, in their dojo, when after this camp, they go back to their uh, gym, their own gym, and they repeat this training, then they become champion. That's what I feel. So the fighter's most important thing is, I think, uh, not physical, well, first, physically, they need to try 100%, not 60%. Okay? This is not kind of like just entertainment. Right? This is a training. So they, need, they must do 100%. This is the most thing. And secondly, is a mentally. So they need to train not only the body, but the head. They need to listen. They need to see the people. And then they need to understand what they are doing. Without thinking, they, they cannot improve their technique. That's what I feel. Awesome. Awesome.